Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about how to not be affected by the outside, how to deal with negative emotions when you come back home that you have retained from the outside. So to do that, you have to understand that you as a person is not whatsoever connected to anything that's happening outside of you. You have no control over people, that's one. And two, you can't control every single situation that you're put into, if that makes sense. Be, as a human, you get put into so many situations. You get put into numerous situations. And to deal with it, you have to know, first of all, that you can't control the reaction of the other person. The only thing that you can control is you and how you think about it. So if you let it affect you beyond the time, let's say you get put into a situation that you don't like, which is something that is common in so many people's lives. When you get back home and you're all by yourself with yourself, like you're just up there and you're in your mind, you're with yourself, which is the person that you're all, you always end up being with in the end of the day. It's not your classmate, it's not your co-worker, it's not anybody. It's just you and yourself. Is what's happening to you bothering you and you think like, I don't know, if it's bothering you, that's fine, that means you're human, but is it getting beyond the point that you want it to? If it is, that means you have to work, first of all, on your self-esteem because if you let other people control how you feel, that means you're automatically lower quality than you should be, you know? Like, it's not an insult to anybody, like, everybody falls for this, but if you get bothered for a long time based on somebody else's actions or based on a situation that you have been put into, that means you need to change your mind dynamic and think of it this way. You need to think of it as if everybody goes through this and I'm not going to let it bother me because I have all these things to do in my life and not this one little thing that would bother me. And understand that you as a human is disconnected from what's happening to you outside. So it what's happening to you outside should not make your day better or worse because this you have to take ownership of your happiness you have to take ownership of your emotions you have to take ownership of the way you feel because your body is there to serve you you're not there to serve your body or your you know does that make sense? I know this is a question for my sister. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, she nods. Um, so the other thing is, it should end, like whatever is bothering you should end right there and then. It shouldn't bother you beyond the point that you, for example, you get put into a situation that you don't like, whether it is a presentation or maybe, um, a conflict with somebody, your co-worker or whatever, you have to let it bother you the, the minute you walk out that place. You have to think of it like this. like It's not all my fault. It's got to be the other person's fault. And um, the last thing is you cannot control how people treat you. You can't control what they think of you because you cannot. Like there's some people in this world no matter what you do, you're never going to please them. They're never going to be pleased by who you are. They're never going to like you at all. This is the way it is. And there are some people that no matter what you do, they're going to still love you and like you no matter what. Whether they're your parents, your family, or your friends. They're just certain people. Just like there are certain people that don't like you, there are certain people that do like you. And also for no reason. Just as it is... 
that people, you know, dislike you sometimes for no reason. There are people, and it would be the majority, that people would like you also for no reason. So you don't have to, don't get restricted by people's thoughts because we have no control over people. And if you understand the things that you have control over and the things that you don't have control over, you'll have that relief that just thinking to yourself, this is what I can get, this is what I can do and this is what I can't do and I have no interest in doing whatsoever. Like there are some things in life that you don't need, like what is it going to benefit you if everybody's satisfied with you or, you know, love you or even hate you? It's not going to benefit you at all. I know I'm going off on a tangent and I was going to say something else. I was going to say... Pause it. So, the other thing is to know your value. If you know your value, you would not be put into the situation where you think that, you know, you feel so bad about something that has happened because you're up here. You can't be thinking about this thing that has happened that is that silly in your life. Like, if you, if you make things smaller in your life, if you smallen up things, like, don't let them take so much space in your brain as they are, you would look at them more from the outside and not be so much trapped in it and thinking about just the problem. Just think outside of the problem. They call it think outside of the box. So with that said, thank you so much and until next time.